Even these days, so many game studios use low poly style to create their games, especially indie studios. But why low poly? Well, creating a low poly asset is less time consuming and this allows the devs to spend more time focusing on other aspects of game development. And also, these games can be played by a larger audience as players won't need high-end machines to run them. And because they do not rely on looking realistic, so they don't begin to look outdated over time, you know, as technology continues to improve and games continue to look more realistic every year. If you like me and enjoy a low poly work, please join me in this video where I want to show you the easiest and probably fastest way, especially for beginners like me, to make a low poly character pack in Blender. Because they are incredibly useful, I like to use reference images to create a low poly character. They allow you to build your character or any other model with the correct proportions using the front, side and sometimes maybe back views as a guide. If you have drawing skills, you sure can create your own model sheets. But if you're like me and know nothing about drawing, then you can simply use many reference images available on the web ready for us to borrow some ideas from. We can use Google images on websites like Pinterest, Association, Sketchpad. Character reference sheet doesn't need to be extremely detailed, it just needs to be proportioned correctly to allow you as a 3D artist to model the character in a 3D environment. A front and side view is usually enough to allow you to trace the base shape of the male or female figure and to block out the three dimensional attributes. And I'd like to add that if you want to make more than one model, I mean like a pack of low poly characters, then it's a good idea to start with a base mesh. This way we can easily use it as a base for any character that we want to create as long as we keep it simple and without any unnecessary details. To start add reference images and add auto mirror from Blender add-ons if you haven't already, then apply it to default cube because you know it makes our life a lot easier. I like to start with chest and belly, so let's go to the edit mode by pressing tab, to front view by pressing 1 on numpad, and then to x-ray mode by pressing alt z, then start moving the cube to the right position. Switch to side view by pressing 3 on your numpad, and while it's still in x-ray mode, set up our cube by moving vertices to correct position. When we realize we don't follow the reference image, it's a good idea to add loop cuts to our model using Ctrl R and then keep moving new points into right positions. Keep in mind that we don't want to add complexity, so avoid adding too many loop cuts. From here we just extend our model with pressing E to extrude, then to keep the shape G to grab as to scale or R to rotate as needed. Sometimes you may want to use edge slide by pressing GG to add care wherever it's needed, like here for chest and back. Compare the model with reference image in both front and side views from time to time and take account of the fact that we can get away with lots of inaccuracies in low poly work. So just try to keep the right shape and you're good to go. To create the head, just make sure that in front view, vertices are lined up with the neck. Then as before, it will extrude, jet grab and 
we have a neck do the same thing for the head and keep moving vertices to position sometimes instead of adding loop cuts you may find it easier to bevel an edge so select that edge and then Ctrl B to bevel Continue in the same way to create arms and legs and remember our only job here is to try to keep it simple. I mean as low poly as possible and at the same time try to match the reference image as best as you can. Keep account of that uh, coming out of front or side view and look at our model from different angles can help a lot. To create our character, import the reference images, then duplicate the base mesh that you just made, move it into the position, and from here we need to repeat what we did before. Go to edit mode, front view, x-ray mode, and start moving points into a position. To make it a little easier, you can start with upper body, and don't panic if it looks strange, just keep going. When you're done in front view, go to the side view and do the same thing. Grab vertices and try to move them to the correct position. Remember, don't add any detail before you get the basic outline shape, unless it's necessary for topology. Because if you do that, then you just have a lot more vertices to move around and adjust. Now add some details. You can add as much or as little detail as you would like until you get a fully rounded figure that you can pose or animate as you see fit. Adding details is even easier than what we just did. Two main tools that I use a lot when I'm adding details are loop cuts and knife tool. Loop cuts for creating sleeves or belts or shoes and knife tool that using it is very effective for adding details especially for adding hair or something like a tie when you finish you need to select faces that you just create and extrude them along their normals by pressing alt and e and then select extrude along normals the best way is to use UV editing. This way we just need to choose the section that we want and separate them from others using seams. To do this, select the edges around the faces that you want like hair, eye, clothes, then mark them as seam. Shortcut is Ctrl E and then select mark as seam. When you complete this process, go to shading tab and add an image texture. You need a color palette to use here, so download one if you don't have any. When you're done, go back to UV tab and to select the faces that are linked via seam, move your mouse on them and press L for link and then click on using seam. On the left window you can see all the linked faces, select them all and scale them to 0 by pressing S and 0. Then grab them and put them on the color that you want and repeat this process for all parts of your character. And that's it. Now you have a nice character and you know how to create any low poly character that you want. Believe me, any low poly character, as long as you have a reference image to work with. 
These are some of the models that I made. A zombie, a Donald Trump, inside character, and Lara Croft. If Netflix makes the next Tomb Raider, maybe. Okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the like button and tell us in the comments if this video helped you or if you have any questions about it. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel for more cool content. Thanks for watching and see you soon.